Hey what's up guys, David here from Dignited. Today I'll be showing you how you can connect your Roku streaming player to a wired Ethernet network. Alright, let's get into it. The default way that your Roku Smart TV or streaming player connects to the internet is wirelessly. This can be done through your home Wi-Fi network, hotel or dorm room. However, wire Wi-Fi is very convenient and easily accessible. It's also prone to interference and signal issues that impact on your network speeds. Your YouTube might start buffering, Netflix video quality might drop or your gaming experience may become unbearable or some streaming services might actually just stop working altogether. So to mitigate against these network issues, sometimes the best way is to ditch Wi-Fi and connect to a wired Ethernet network. Unfortunately, not all Roku devices have an Ethernet port for connecting to a wired network. The Roku Ultra LT and Roku Ultra are the only Roku players that have a dedicated Ethernet port. The Roku Express 4K the Roku Express 4K Plus, Roku Stream Bar, Roku Stream Bar Pro, Roku Smart Bar can all connect via Ethernet, but you need to purchase a separate Ethernet adapter. Now, before you go on to buy a USB Ethernet adapter, here's what you should look out for according to Roku. One, look out for an adapter that only supports 10 slash 100 Mbps speeds. Adapters that support 1000 Mbps or GigaNet Ethernet will not work. This is really important to do tech not of all right and then look out for an adapter that has an ax8877x or sms c95xx chipset then look out for an adapter with a micro usb connector this is required for connecting the roku express 4k and express 4k plus streaming sticks now roku has some recommendations for you for what ethernet adapter will work for your device if you have the roku express 4k or express 4k plus streaming sticks then consider the ugreen micro usb to rj45 ethernet network adapter or the belka micro usb to rj45 ethernet adapter all right and if you own the roku stream bar or smart bar then consider the trendnet usb 2.0 to 10 slash 100 fast ethernet lan wired ethernet adapter or the pluggable usb 2.0 to ethernet fast 10 slash 100 LAN wired Ethernet adapter. All these devices are available on Amazon.com. I'll be adding the links to these products in the video description below. All right, now when you get the right Ethernet adapter for your Roku device, here's how to connect it to a wired Ethernet network. If you own the Roku Express 4K or Express 4K Plus, connect the micro USB end of the Ethernet adapter to the Roku streaming stick and then the USB end to USB power adapter or one of your TV's USB ports, that is if the Roku Express is connected to your TV. Then connect the other end of the Ethernet adapter to an Ethernet cable, which in turn connects to one of the LAN ports of your Wi-Fi router or switch. Now, if you have the Roku stream bar or smart sound bar, the Ethernet adapter definitely looks different. So you'll have to attach the Ethernet adapter to the USB port of your Roku device and then connect the Ethernet end of the adapter to an Ethernet cable, which in turn connects to one of the LAN ports of your Wi-Fi router or switch. All right, with the connections done, you can now set up a wired network on your Roku device. Start your Roku device and then press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll down to settings and then under network, select setup connection and then select wired. The Roku device will automatically acquire network settings for your device to connect to the internet. Now remember that you can always switch between Wi-Fi and wired networks from the network settings. All right, guys, that's it. That's how you can connect your Roku streaming stick to a wired network. If you like this video, go ahead and give us a like, subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, we'll see you guys in the next one.